Did you know that just like the Carrot Defender, the Stargazer is completely free? I wasn't even going to make this video until I realized that the Stargazer actually looks really cool. What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to make sure that you can prepare yourself to get the Stargazer. It is, of course, the pet that you receive from the Easter challenges, which I have completed all of them with Robux. And of course, the Carrot Defender is from the Easter Pass, which we covered the other day. Big question, which one is better? I know for a lot of people, the Easter Pass is more fun, it's easier to do, and we get these less often than we get the challenges. Some of the challenges are a massive pain, which is why I always make a video reminding you guys, and especially new players that have joined the game recently, the best strategies to complete every single challenge. So... Before we get into things, you're going to want to check yourself. You're going to want to go looking for pets like the Luckiest Wyvern. Any pet you have in your inventory that has the multi-world currency. This is going to be very important. You're going to want a multi-world currency team. You're going to want a gems team. And you're going to want a bubbles team. So figure your best ones out and get them added to your teams. Before we go any further, let's see just how worth it the Stargazer is. So both of them are bubble potioned. The Carrot Defender, like we were saying, not good for worlds, doesn't have world currency, but really, really good for bubbles. The shiny version of the Carrot Defender would be amazing for bubbles. It would be better than a lot of secret pets. 97,175 bubbles, and would you believe it, the Stargazer's even better. 102, 781, and the gems and coins are also higher on the Stargazer. So not only does it look really good, it is actually really good. Just with the two of them and a low level bubble, I blow 400,000. If I unequipped all my pets and I rate them by bubbles, you can see that, yeah, they don't appear in my top bubble team, sure. But my best bubble pet is in the 400,000s. But if I scroll down, there are some shinies here. Definitely, these should be up here. Shiny, shiny. But then, as we get down here to more of our regular pets, you're going to see here's the Stargazer. Better than previous Mythic Tier 3s and almost better than a lot of shiny Tier 3s. This definitely doesn't do it justice, but it is. It is very, very strong for how easy it is to get. All right, now that I've convinced you to get the pet, let's talk about how easy it is to actually get. Obviously, day one, 750 eggs. You guys have done this. You've blown the 10 million bubbles. You've probably hatched 10 legendaries. And if you have not, remember, all you got to do is head back to the spawn area over here. I've told you guys this so many times. And if you're new to the game, you might not be aware. But the spiky egg right here for 35,000 coins has the Emerald Golem, a legendary pet that is significantly easier to hatch than any other legendary in the game. 2.5% when you've just got a regular luck boost or a luck pass, but if you add on, say, a luck boost, it goes all the way up to 5%, and if there was an event, this would be up at 10%. Watch this. It's going to be super easy. Three eggs, no legendary. Okay, three, six, nine, and then 12. Oh, come on. Don't be bad on me like this. 15. Come on, game. 18. There we go. In 18 eggs, I managed to get one. So if you need 10 of them, 180 eggs, nothing. Absolutely nothing. So easy to do. After that, we've got the gems, which I was saying, get yourself a gem team. Your world team and your gem team could be different. Stats do vary now. 75 million bubbles. Get yourself a bubble team. Blow away. It's too easy to do. Open 2k eggs. This is one that is totally up to you guys, all right? You could open 2k eggs here like all of my accounts are doing. You could open 2k eggs here to try and get an easy secret pet. Or if you want, just go and open 2k eggs on literally any egg in the game that you can afford 2,000 of. 750 epics. A common mistake is to head back to the spiky egg, assuming that it will be easy just like the emerald golem. It only has one epic pet in it, so it's kind of a waste of your time. You're looking for two epics. So here's only one, no good. Two epics, 20% and 10%. This one here is 20% as well, but you've also got a second epic that you could get out of this egg. So you could do there, or you could even do here, 20%, 10%. Again, 
just farm an egg that has two epic pets in it. After that, day eight, 250 million bubbles. Again, your bubble team, super easy to do. 1.25 billion blocks. This is the one we were talking about where you need to have a world currency team ready to go. So this is obviously all gonna have relatively decent world currencies, but let's not do that. Here are some of our best world currency pets. I've rated them. Obviously, this is my best one. The King Kitty is still the top dog of my inventory. But let's scroll all the way down. All right, here we go. I've managed to find a team of shiny tier one pets. Even free to play players can get these. I'm gonna do something absolutely disgusting. I'm gonna max them. That's right. Every single video I waste max potions and this is why I'm running out of them. All right, there we go. These shouldn't be, uh, these shouldn't be too bad now. Now all of these are multi-world currency pets. They're all tier ones from Christmas. So they're not insanely strong. These guys have been, these are very new. These two are tier ones from Christmas. Sorry, that was a miss, I misspoke. But they're still pretty strong. They're shiny and they are maxed out. Let's see if we can get the blocks that we need. Come on, team of five. This is like the most, this is a decent free to play team, all right? Boom. 400 million, yes. We only need 1.25 billion. So we are definitely going to be able to get enough even with this super free to play team. Yes, if you're 100% new to the game, 2.25 billion, easy done. If you're 100% new to the game, yes, it would be difficult to get these, but you can get them easily in a week of playing. And they would be stronger because these are previous event pets where you could get shiny tier ones from here, which I unfortunately don't have, but shiny tier ones of this would be even stronger than my current pets. I'm gonna keep the noob squad on, Let's keep looking. Next, we've got a billion bubbles now with this team. 564,000. I don't have the best bubble equip with. Let's assume 560,000. I mean, it'll take a little while, but you'll definitely be able to do a billion bubbles. 4,000 eggs is a big one. This can be a really big pain. And all, all I can say is, you know, grind, boys. Grind, you know. 4,000 eggs on here. I mean, if you've got maxed luck or if you've even got five times luck, you know, you don't have a good chance, but you've got a decent chance of getting a easy secret pet. Up next is the four billion rainbows. Let's take the noob squad and let's see what we can get from the chests. All right, we're gonna go to the biggest chest because we know we got two billion from the second best chest. So let's just go with, we need four billion Noob Squad gets 3.8 billion from the biggest one, so you could just get any of the other chests and you would get the 4 billion very easily. I have a very good feeling about this Noob Squad. I'm so glad I showed this to you guys. It really should put it into perspective how doable this is. All right, up next, 75 legendaries. And I mean, this is the same as before. All I can say is do the spiky egg. If like, if you're running out of time, do the spiky egg. You should be able to get 75 legendaries in a day or two relatively easily, even if you only play for an hour or two. And then finally, the 7.5 billion shells, which we should be able to do this from the beach world. Let's go, noob squad. Lower end worlds always give a little bit less, or at least it feels like they do. So 4.8 billion, never mind. It gave us a lot more. I did always say that the beach world was the easiest world to complete. I never knew why, but now I do. So 4.8. And then 2.25, you're looking at seven already. We needed 7.5, so let's just hope. 400, I mean, you'd have to do some small chests or wait 15 minutes to get the big chest again, but super easy, even with the shiny noob squad. And that's it, boys. After your 7.5 shells, day 14, you'll be able to get yourself the Stargazer. Now, obviously, because they come out each day, you have an entire day to focus on each one making them a lot easier to achieve. I love the challenges. I would love to see them changed up a little bit, maybe add different challenges in there as they are usually all the same. But either way, it is definitely worth your time in order to get this relatively strong pet. This will be a good little upgrade for some bubble teams and who knows, maybe if you can get a shiny one, you're looking at like maybe 200,000 bubbles for a shiny or something like that. That could be really, really strong. Alrighty guys, thanks for watching today's vid. If this did help you out, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you all tomorrow with another video.